Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and today we're taking a look at a game that I think is called Cremaya Amiga, but I don't know, don't uh, don't take my word for it. And this is out on PlayStation 4, it's on a PSN, it's a digital game, and it's an arcade shoot 'em up of sorts. And I say that because it's not a traditional shoot 'em up you're not scrolling horizontally or vertically across the screen. Instead, you're in a kind of free space environment and you're flying around and essentially what you have to do is collect these little orb things which are jump gate components get 20 of those and you will then fight a boss beat the boss and you've beaten the level and there's four levels and that's pretty much all there is to say about the main kind of arcade mode which is actually called story mode and that's worth mentioning because the story is apparently, let's read this an original adventure featuring the multiverse and the journey in search for the final answer. Kaleen system activates your armor and awakes you after your soul calibrates the unit. The year is Nan. N-A-N. So, uh, yeah, kind of bollocks. And that's not the only confusing thing, as you can see by everything that's on the screen. You see, this game is just visually all over the place. It's kind of got the res aesthetic, you know, there's kind of flat kind of colors and textures and it looks sort of nice but there's so much going on and it's really hard to kind of see what's attacking you and it's often quite difficult to see where to go next there's a little arrow thing around your ship not at the moment because I'm in a boss battle but usually telling you where to go next and it's you know it's reasonably easy to follow but it's just one other thing to worry about when you're getting shot but the actual main story mode itself, or arcade mode if you will, is really kind of easy. I mean the checkpointing is quite generous, so if you die, that's fine, you'll just go back a little bit, it won't be too bad. And I was able to kind of get through most of the bo boss battles without really dying at all. So, you know, that's that really. Four levels and you're done. There's a score attack mode which is all about kind of keeping your combo going and all of that but because the action is so messy it's really not that satisfying to do that and the other mode is just called pure mode and that's where you get one life to take out a whole level that's pretty tricky why you'd want to do it I don't know beyond just maybe some trophy hunting in an effort to be interesting the game actually does give you a different ship for each of the levels and then you can kind of mix and match those to each level as you want so that essentially means some of them are a bit more durable some of them have very different weapons like this one's more melee based and you know it's just a case of finding out which ship is best suited to what you want to do beyond that though despite the game's confidence and all the press releases there's not really much going on here it's a really basic kind of shooter that's not been that well crafted and in the end is just a little bit forgettable also the game's 20 quid right now which is really expensive for what you get so I'd probably avoid at least until the inevitable sales anyway thanks for watching you've been a great audience